uh, teeth, the water, danger. I always associate a shark as being quite a dangerous animal. Big teeth, um, long, with a sharp tail and um, small eyes. Yeah, North Cornwall's rugged and beautiful coastline, which for decades has been a popular holiday destination. The number of those enjoying our inshore marine environment has increased dramatically. Surfing, angling, leisure boating, diving, kayaking, windsurfing and others are all pursuits enjoying massive and increasing popular appeal. The widespread use of wetsuits means more people spending more time in and on the water. And this has resulted in regular sightings of sharks being reported from all around our coasts. These never fail to make headlines because most Britons believe that our waters are shark free. Names like Mako, Great White, Tiger and Bull Shark send shivers down the spines of many of us. Sharks seem to hit three basic human fear buttons. The fear of being eaten alive, the fear of being out of your natural environment and the fear of the unknown. What could be more chilling than suspecting a hidden monster might be lurking beneath you when swimming? Truly terrifying stuff, and the first Jaws film hit all three of these human fear buttons in its first few minutes. As far as most Britons are concerned, the images you are watching might as well have come from another planet in terms of their relevance to our islands. Our film will change this. I'm going to take you on a tour around the country and introduce you to some fellow residents whose presence may come as a surprise. Prey and predator has been the relationship of the blue shark to man through history, and our film explores which was which. Now, cage diving has given this shark a new ecotourism future. Times are changing. The giant basking shark was in the past hunted by man and tragically once caused human deaths. Researchers believe this previously unshown footage may, for the first time, show courtship behavior. Also known as the lesser spotted dogfish, the small spotted cat shark can breathe while stationary by pumping water through its gills. We'll search for spur dog sharks in a Scottish sea lock, for hound sharks, and find out how the soup fin shark got its name. We'll take a new look at an old story, the puzzle of whether the dreaded great white shark visits Britain's shores, and we'll journey to the Isle of Wight with an angling party in pursuit of the elusive thresher shark. The poor beagle is a closely related, smaller version of the great white, although the world record poor beagle caught in Britain weighed a massive 36 stone. Our film has some of the best poor beagle footage yet shot anywhere. The search for our sharks took us the length and breadth of Britain, the private world of cat sharks, the one-time hunting of basking sharks, the tragedy of shark-caused human deaths and today's drama of who eats who are all explored in our quest. You will never before have been on a journey like this as we bring you face to face with sharks in British seas. <laughs> 